Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Joseph Kizerbo The belief that the old has nothing to do with the new is a total misconception by young Africans. A man who can't find his root will either cease to exist or survive on another man's heritage. That is the exact likelihood of Africa. The existence of Joseph Kizerbo was a blessing for many African countries to trace back their roots, finding their original purpose of existence, not surviving on foreign heritage. Joseph Kizerbo, born on the 21st of June 1922 in Toma, in the province of Nyala, was born into a Christian home. His father, Alfred Diban Kizerbo, said to be the first Burkina Bay Christian who helped and fought during the Volta Bene War to stop Toma from being raced down, and his mother, Theresa Folu. In my opinion, Joseph's humanitarian spirit could be traced to his father's doggedness when it comes to fighting for what is right. Kizerbo attended the Catholic primary school in Toma between 1933 and 1940, then had his secondary school at the preparatory seminaries in Pabe in the province of Kadiogo and Faladie, a district of Bamako, Mali. He then attended the Grand Seminaire St. Pierre Clava, located at Kumi, near Bobo Dio Lasso, a school where young men were trained for Catholic priesthood. For some reasons not clearly stated on record, Joseph Kizerbo dropped out of the seminary school and went to live in Dakar, Senegal for several years, where he soon found occupation in teaching, more so had a job for several months with the weekly newspaper, Afrique Nouvelle, and also worked as a railway construction laborer. Joseph continued his education as a part-time student and finally obtained his baccalaureate at the age of 27 in 1949. He was lucky to earn a scholarship to study history and law at the Sorbonne in Paris and also followed courses in politics at the Paris Institute of Political Studies, that is, Sciences Po Paris. On completion of his studies, he became a certified historian and geography teacher, the first person from Upper Volta region to acquire such a feat. Residing and studying in Paris, France for several years was enough to make Kizerbo become a French citizen and was employed as a history and geography teacher in Orleans, Paris and Dakar. During one of his visits to Mali, Kizerbo met a lady Jacqueline Koulibaly, the daughter of a Malian union leader, whom he later went on to marry. He is known as one of the greatest Africa thinkers who used intellect to forcefully change the political mess of the continent. Joseph Kizerbo spent years as a scientific researcher and made his mark as a teacher before he then decided to continue his humanitarian service in active politics. During the reign of President Maurice Yamiogo in Burkina Faso between 1960 and 1966, the creation of political parties was forbidden. The political party he created in 1957 during the independence struggle, Mouvement de Libération Nationale, that is, National Freedom Movement plus members of synodical teachers' class and villagers were the major tool Joseph Kizerbo used to force Maurice Yamiogo out of presidency on the 3rd of January 1966. Kizerbo, who was the secretary general of the MLN, that is, Mouvement de Libération Nationale, went in for the 1970 legislative elections but got the sixth position in government. He went ahead to become the president of African Historian Associations 
and a professor of African history at the University of Ugadugu from 1972 to 1978. Within that period, he was also a member of the governing board for the United Nations Institute for Training and Research, UNITAR. Also, becoming an executive member of the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, in the year 1976 through 2001. In one of his mentions to Africans, he asserted, I believe that power should be divided among its incumbents. In addition, I also believe that historical knowledge is a condition to collective liberation as the linkage between historical knowledge and self-worth is undeniable. He successfully became the vice president of the executive of the International Drafting Committee for the General History of Africa, UNESCO. Specifically, he was the head of scholars that produced volume 1 in the series titled Methodology and African Prehistory in 1980. He also supervised the publication of two of the monumental eight-volume General History of Africa in 1981 as a member of the Scientific Committee for UNESCO. In 1983, a young group of military officers arose of staging power through a military coup under the control of Captain Thomas Sankara. This marked a new stage for Upper Volta, officially now regarded as Burkina Faso, meaning Land of the Upright. Joseph Kizerbo was arrested by the military government, but later released after a counter-coup was staged by Blaise Campari. He was then forced to go exile in 1985 to save his head, later returned in 1992. Joseph Kizerbo is recognized throughout the world for his contribution to the recording of African history, his contribution to the positive reassessment of culture, and his promotion of interdisciplinary research. During his lifetime, he received many awards home and abroad, notably the Honorary Doctorate, University of Ghana in 1964, the Right Livelihood Award, an alternative Nobel Prize, Stockholm, Sweden in 1967, Radio France International's World Witness Prize in 2004, awarded for the book Akon l'Afrique, that is, What's Time for Africa, published in 2003, Honorary Life Member, Board of the Council for the Development of Social Science Research in Africa, Codesria. In 2006, he was recognized as the Commander, International Order of Academic Laurels, African and Malagasy Council on Higher Education, CAMES, a posthumous award. His principles and writings remain a force to reckon with till date. He is described by some as the African John the Baptist from Burkina Faso. Kizerbo is the author of the popular Diola Bambara language slogan, Nan Laara and Saara translates, without consciousness, we are dead. In December 2015, the prestigious university in Burkina Faso, that is, University of Ugadougou, was renamed L'Université Ougaon Professor Joseph Kizerbo. He established the Democracy and Progress Socialist Party where he was the chairman until 2005 and remained a representative member in Burkina Faso Parliament until his death in 2006, aged 84 years. What have we missed out of this biography of Joseph Kizerbo? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.